Hey Aries, it is Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. How are you? Welcome or welcome back. All right, so we're going to do your June reading for 2019. for you all, Aries. Impatience. Okay. So, my life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. I'm always at the right place at the right time. So, this is what you're feeling and this is the lesson. Right? So, Impatience are just delayed benefits in life, right? So can be frustrating, definitely. But if you think about that, you know, it's like waiting at a red light. Are you, is it really that bad if you know you're missing a car crash or missing an accident because you're at that red light? Probably not. And then we have companionship. When you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the one ones who are meant to be with you. May I welcome this solitude knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. Okay, so it feels like somebody is, it, it feels like both, both of you are not quite together yet and one of you is impatient about it and the other one might be just learning that it's okay to to be alone you know before you know before jumping into another connection or relationship this person might need need that that time alone before they they move forward so they might be putting they might be putting this on hold right now and it's causing some impatience right all right so let's see All right, so we have magician, okay? So, I mean, there's there's definitely um, a desire to want to make things happen with the magician manifestation. There's something that I feel like, honestly, Aries, I feel like this is you. There's something that you want to see unfold. There's something that you want to see happen. And it feels as though, you know, you've waited and what is happening, right? And then we have the two of cups. Surprise, surprise. You are trying to manifest this two of cups. This person is not resisting you. I feel like this goes to divine timing. There's something that this person has to go through first before they can open themselves up completely to this connection. But you've already manifested this. I feel like you know that too. You've already manifested this, this partnership between the two of you, this connection between the two of you. You both feel it. You both know it.
this person, you know, may have struggled their whole life being alone. And for the first time, you know, they might be experiencing a healthy aloneness before they step into the connection of a lifetime is what I'm is what I'm feeling here. Five of Pentacles. I think that this is your perception that that you've been left out in the cold. And I you know, I don't feel like that is the case. I don't feel like that's the case at all here. This person just is utilizing their time alone for for some good purpose before they come into this connection. That's the message that I'm getting. Knight of Cups, yeah. I mean, this is this person is going to pursue you romantically if they haven't already started, okay? It is what they want. I mean... The cups are there waiting for you. But this person is the one, for whatever reason in this connection, that needs to take the initiative. And it might be because you need a lesson in patience. It, that could exactly be what it is. And they needed a lesson in how to be alone in a healthy way, at least for a period of time. Four of Cups. Oh man, <laughs> Aries, listen. So you're you're looking at this possibly in in a glass half empty way. When here's your cup that's coming and it's behind you, you can't see it. You know, and in a lot of the other readings this this month. The card trust has come up, trusting the universe, trusting the divine. I feel it's coming if it's not already here for you. It's coming. And if you're in this type of thinking or experiencing this and you're, you know, then that's what you're manifesting. You know, if you're imagining this down here, your two, two of cups connection, knight of cups romantic, you know, gestures coming in, then you'll bring this forward to you that much quicker versus focusing on maybe what you feel you've lost. You haven't lost, you haven't lost anything here. All right, three of cups. After this person comes in and proposes, maybe proposes, but brings in this romantic, very romantic way about them towards you, there's complete celebration. This is the complete opposite of this. This is what's actually happening. This is what you're perceiving. And it's because possibly you're just you're, you're possibly focusing on the glass half empty mentality and not trusting divine timing. And sometimes divine timing, you know, can take a while. What is connecting these two people here? <laughs> King of Swords. So that tells me that not only does this person know that the connection is there and real, you know it too. Okay, King of Swords knows the truth, has that clarity. 
So if you actually know that this is coming in at some point, then give yourself a break here. Just let it unfold. Let it unfold for you. You both know it's there. You both know for, for whatever reason, you probably even know why this person needs some time alone right now. But look at this, two of cups, knight of cups, three of cups, celebration. There's complete truth and clarity between the two of you. So that tells me that you both know what's going on. All right, let's see what the romance angels have to say about this one, Aries. Aries, I would love to hear from you if this resonates or if it doesn't. I would love to hear from you <laughs> from in the comments. Please, please share your thoughts. chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. You know that, right? You know that. You know that already. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I feel like that's exactly what's coming towards you. You know, whether you guys go away together or if this is an actual honeymoon between the two of you, if you guys are on the verge of getting engaged, that might be where the impatience is coming from on your end. If this person, you know, if you guys talked about getting engaged and there have been delays around that, that's certainly, I can understand that. But, Again, this still shows, this, this absolutely shows, honestly, love, engagement, marriage. <laughs> I mean, really, companionship. What is marriage? Ultimately, companionship, honeymoon. Marriage, honeymoon. This is the whole story <laughs> of love right here. All right, that's what I have for you, Aries. Uh, I hope it resonated. If it didn't, let me know for sure. I really, I definitely want to hear it from you guys. All right, so that's about it. I will uh, continue um, doing the, the daily sunny connections as well as what I started last weekend, which is the loving, longing, lingering, or losing you uh, reading. So so you can have something over the weekend. So anyway, that's it. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you next time. All right, thanks, Aries. Bye-bye.